I don't know when the last time I uploaded was. It was like a while ago, I think. So I thought we'd, I thought I'd come back with a bit of a bang here. The Hagoromo chalk is back here. Um, um, and I thought it would be a good idea to s open this new era, I guess, with the proof that the harmonic series diverges. Actually, I should probably write this a bit differently. Because in my, because the Hagoromo chalk's most recent sighting was in me trying to prove that this thing didn't diverge in my final writing a false theorem with the Hagoromo chalk video. Here I'm going to prove that it does in fact diverge, right here, using the integral test. So this will be the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over m. And this is equal to the integral from, actually no, um, this is going to be equal to the natural log of infinity minus the natural log of 1, evaluated from 1, value actually, right, yeah, evaluated from 1, actually no, that is, actually never mind, um, and this is, um, natural log of infinity is obviously infinity, and this is minus 0, so yeah, it's infinity, it diverges. Yep, I, I'm pretty sure you wanted the proof that has, like, the, it's great, I, I mean, the proof that you probably think of when you think of the proof, the harmonic series diverges, is the proof using the direct comparison test. However, I don't know how to do that. So instead, I'm just going to do another random series that I have no idea about. Maybe uh, from 1 to infinity of uh, 1 over the square root of n, I guess. Well, it's actually going to be the Riemann zeta function. Uh, is that how you write a zeta? Of 1 half. But I'm not sure about that. Hopefully it's equal to zero because, it, because you know, it's a zero. Because it's, it's it has a real part of one half. Uh, okay, let's just do this here. All right, does this diverge? Uh, the integral from one to infinity of one over square root of n. How do you evaluate this? I'm not quite sure. But I do know that one half so firstly, let's take the antiderivative and evaluate it from 1 to infinity. But I know that 1 half of this antiderivative... Um, I think... Okay, 1 half of this antiderivative, if I just get rid of this, will equal... Um, will actually be equal to the square root of x. Just the ordinary square root of x. But I'm not going to... I don't, I don't care about that. Let's just do u sub. Um, u equals square root of x, n. Actually, we're going to put d n. Here, I want to get 1, the integral, 1 over u, du. This is going to be, so du is going to be equal to 1 over 2 square root n, d n. Um... Therefore, dn will be, that will be du over square root, wait, dn, du, wait, if you divide everything by, so if you don't be multiplying, so that means that dn is this times du, so I think 2 square root of n over u du. I think, wait, maybe if I, if I just divide the signs by du, so du divided by that, 1 over, actually never mind, so if I, so, this, so if you divide this by du, so if I get, how do I get rid of du here? That's that, so if I, so if I divide everything by 1 over 2 square root of n, it'll give me dn. So du divided by, uh, actually it is, it's du over two square root n. And what is this? Well, actually, never mind, because this is with respect. Um, I'm not... 
um, n here, actually no, n is just equal to uh, u squared. Uh, so 1 over that, I don't know what that <laughs> integral of that is. So let's try the limit test instead. The limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over square root of n. This will equal 0. Therefore, the limit test is inconclusive. Uh, I'll just... I'm just going to write out the series. So 1 over 1 plus 1 over square root of 2 um, plus 1 over square root of 3. But let me actually think here. So it will be 1 plus... 1 over square root of 2 is the same as square root of 2 over 2 plus square root of 3 over 3 plus dot dot dot. Actually, I should probably just say square root of 4 over 4, so 2 fourths, so plus 1 half dot dot dot. So, yep, this obviously diverges. Okay, I'm done with that this series, and let's finish this off by saying one thing. My next two videos will be focusing very, very greatly on this one very simple statement.